All right. Good morning. Uh, this is T Diamond. Um, here with my cup of coffee, and it is a bright and early morning today, and we're gonna play some more SMRPG. So, um, if you're not familiar, uh, this is the quest for Sub Two, a very um, creative name that I came up with completely on my own, where we play SMRPG uh, in order to try to get a time under sub two hours. So if you're not familiar with SMRPG, SMRPG is a Super Nintendo classic from the 1990, from 1996. It's one of the last games released on the Super Nintendo, and it is my favorite game of all time. And this version in particular is a randomizer version where a bunch of different aspects of the game are completely changed from the original. So uh, the settings I use are the async settings. And if you want to just get right to the run, I'll put a time in the description below. But if you want a description, kind of like what I'm using, we're randomizing uh, the bosses. We're randomizing the boss uh, locations, the star locations, the key items, uh, the items themselves, and all the chests and random like location. And there are also their stats. And we're also randomizing the shops. So <clears throat> probably going to be very money focused. We're going to start off with our character, and then we're just going to see what happens there. So, I can keep explaining stuff as we go on, but it's just good to get into it. Alright, so, we'll start our character. Starter character is Peach. I'm going to try to keep up with the randomizer, um, with the, uh, the tracker the best I can. And we're going to start here in one second. So I start time the moment my character starts to jump. Alright, Auto Card isn't a great start, and Peach is probably my least favorite character to start with, just because she has usually a really low attack stat, especially right at the beginning. Magic is usually nice, but because your spells are also randomized, you can really get screwed over by not having like poison gas, right? It's it's 10 flower use, but we don't even have 10 flower yet. It also has a chance to miss. 18 isn't the worst attack stat. Um, we're gonna go into it. It's really bad, I'll reset. So long as we can kill these guys, that's mostly what matters. So I had somebody ask me yesterday, <clears throat> like, what do you play on? Like, what's your setup? So my setup is I use a SNES Classic with a mirror box capture card, and I have it streaming here uh, with my computer here right next to me. I don't like how much damage we're doing against them. So I kill the Terrapin. I want to whittle down their health. Yeah, so I use a SNES Classic. Um, most of the time you see people play on um, original hardware, especially on a CRT TV, or they play on like a, a Wii U with like Virtual Console, and that's because uh, the game has a lot of very specific, I, yeah, I have to use this mushroom, I'm not going to risk dying while I well down their health. So when I'm blocking there, there's a fr five frame window in which I can take zero damage. And there's a little bit of a frame window on either side of those five frames that I can take half damage. So, it's so right there. I only, I missed the frame window. Um, and because there's a little bit, and I'm missing my, uh, my attack window. There, I got it. Yeah, so those were perfect blocks. So annoying. Yeah, we'll check the two free chests and then we're gonna get out of here. Um, because I'm not gonna do this. It's just waste a lot of time. Especially at the beginning. I 
much health do you have left, dude? Alright, well the attack up is helpful. Well, maybe not. Well, so much for our attack up. I'm getting the timing on that too, so I don't... Yeah, so all defenses for physical attacks have a 5 frame window, and all attacks have a 7 frame window. You either do... Um... Oh, god dang it. I think he's almost dead, but I don't want to risk it. I don't need to waste 4 minutes on one battle. every attack now. Oh, that happens sometimes. That's why I don't like Peach. Peach is just really terrible in that regard. We're gonna take it a, a, a boost to attack. Hopefully we can use that hand cannon so this is a complete waste of time. And we cannot. And it's garbage anyways, so. Oh well. We'll get these two chests. We're not we won't finish here. We'll see who the boss is we'll head out. Unless the amulet can be used. Or super slap. Okay, well, that's helpful. Uh, is the amulet any good? It's alright. Um, Funny enough, what I was saying about uh, there being a frame window for uh, every weapon being seven frames. Uh, Super Slap is the only weapon in the game that I know of that I'm aware of, and I could be wrong. Um, that it actually only has a five frame window, so its frame window is actually smaller than every other weapon in the game. So out of all the ones to get, when they have a little bit of lag to play with. This is not the weapon to get. Hopefully we go up another level, to be honest. Nope. Oh well. Alright, the attack up helps. These guys can have weird defense. But not today. Alright, so we get one more check here than we initially intended. So a huge chunk of time wasted. But, I mean, that's part of the RNG. Gonna see when well, we get a mushroom back at least. Please let us use that. Is that to be good? We can, but it is really good. So that saves us having to go find it and pay for it. Come over him. He is a high magic. He'll spawn a guy. We won't kill him quick enough. We went up a level here. Just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we go up a level here, I might consider it. So I want to come back. The timing's so annoying with the super slap. Alright, cool. Should go up a level here, yeah. 
sleepy time. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I'm pretty sure we could probably win, but I don't really want to risk it. And it would be a huge time loss. As opposed to just like running back, gaining a few levels, then just coming right back. <clears throat> just because like any... Uh, uh, he spawns a genie, and the genie knows Aurora Flash, and even if we had super high defense right now, magic defense, we would almost certainly die. Not to mention we could probably get turned into a Mushroom or a Scarecrow, so we're just not going to risk it. So five checks in here. Oh, let's just use poison gas. But nothing good. Except for the magic glove. Alright, well, that fixes that problem then. Tech scarf. Low negative defense, not bad. Coin trick for Mario. Nothing else really of note. Let's see if that fire dress works for us. It does not. We're gonna see who can use that stuff. So Mega Glove. All right. Well, not our two characters that we start with. Also sells for super cheap, which is annoying. Um. All right, Mario and Bowser. So again, not really helpful. That's helpful for Gino a little bit. We get these two flowers. We'll go to Rose Town, then we'll go back with the Star Egg because if you don't know the Star Egg. Guarantees 100 damage every attack, and so long as we survive one attack done from Box Boy. Oh. Alright, try to get that skip, did not get it. Let's see who the boss is here, by the way. I forget who that is. The little bird is. Is it just Birdo? I think it might just be Birdo, to be honest. Which is weird, I thought they would use the egg, but... Alright, Drug One's flag. It's not helpful. I mean, other than some frog coins, we are not not coming across anything. We're gonna sell the items. All right, well that's decent. To get that, that would boost our magic and our defense. Uh, 246. tempted to just get it now, but we'll come back. Get the item here from sleeping. Alright, well, try bones flag. No bosses killed yet, which is super annoying, but it happens. And we will... I think do Pipe Vault first, and then we'll go back. No good armor. a little bit of money. More frog coins. We're gonna do this. Um, it's kind of meme -y. I didn't know this was even a thing until literally the other day. But you get two, uh, two random, uh, 
two random items if you do this. Just wait. It's the first time you score 20 points, or 21 points, and I think the second time he asks you to score 23. If you score more than that, he actually increases how much you have to score, and it gets a lot harder. Well, there's the ghost medal we wanted, so perfect. That just saved us 200 cynical points. And it makes us go, uh, we can go right back. This is perfect. Alright, as well. See? Not always never lucky. No, just wait. Alright, what do I got? Yeah, crystalline. Cool. Perfect. That worked out really, really well. We're just going to put that ghost metal on right away. Boost defense. Boost our magic, which also boosts the star egg. Um, so now it does 150, which means we're going to 100% win that fight now. Come on. Sonic symbol. Which also might be helpful. I'm going to get a key item check. Cool. Well, this was went from being a really terrible run to a uh, possibly pretty decent start. We can jam early. We already have a good number of frog coins, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, back to reality. Oh, there goes Bring it. Star Egg takes forever. Um, it, it's a little bit memey, especially when you're trying to get the fastest run possible. It's just can take up a lot of time, but this just does so much damage that it's hard not to. So this should one hit kill. Oh, we got the cricket jam. Yep, there we go. Gonna go fight Birdo. I assume it's Birdo, it's a bird. Like, I don't know else who that could be. There's a little bird flapping. Yoshi cookie to sell. Plus we got a hundred coins. Alright, more frog coins for some reason. Alright. No money, but... Or, not no money, uh, no stars, but... Trying to get the. If you hit the. If you jump on a dog at the exact moment that the chest is. It oscillates up and down. So if you hit it right when it hits the bottom of its thing, 
the bottom of its, um, I guess of its rotation or its orbit or whatever you want to call it. And... Cool. Decent starting items. Nothing crazy. Nothing... You know, 82 is... Plus 40 is better than... You know it. I went all the way around, come on. Okay. Oh, it's Dodo. Duh. It's like, yeah, why wouldn't you just use the egg for Birdo? Yeah, the bird, it's... Well, he usually uses a feather. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And this should kill. Um, not... Fox Boy isn't a bad boss to get early. You kind of want bosses that, especially when you have a, something like the Star Egg, kind of want bosses that are a lot <clears throat> harder later on, or like... So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that, um, in like the first location, the normal people who are there, Hammer Bros, are more physical than they are magic focused. So if you get a really magic focused boss like we got with Box Boy, um, it can go a long ways into helping you um, defeat those opponents later on, as opposed to like. Uh, say a Jinx 3, a very physical uh, focus stats, right? Um, if you get a boss like Jonathan Jones there where you have a lot of physical attackers constantly, it really can suck. But if you get somebody like Exor or even like Magic Koopa, who's more magic focused, you're going to have a lot easier time because um, the opponent's stats, the boss's stats, um, somewhat reflect what the uh, the original boss location has. So if you're in a location where normally the boss is very like magic focused, normally you want to see physical focus bosses placed there, and vice versa. It just kind of makes it a little bit easier. Or you can get like Culex, like at like Magic Koopa spot, or even like King Calamari spot with a lot of hit points. Yeah, because hit points are mostly the same. It can vary a little bit, I find, but for the most part, what the original boss location's hit points are is what that boss ends up being, no matter what enemy is there. So for Mac, we're gonna come up on here in a second. This location has 600 hit points, so that might vary a little bit, but because like. I mean, the Star Egg does a set amount of damage. That's why I can say, oh yeah, he's going to die, you know, this turn or next turn or whatever. Um, just based on, like, that information. So, it's... The boss itself is random, but the boss spot is based on a set amount of information. From the original game. Lazy Shell could be really good. Or really bad. It usually is really bad for me. If you've ever played the original game and found the Lazy Shell, congratulations. Um, I did not know it was a thing when I was a little kid playing this game, but it trivializes the original game quite a bit. Well, those are both pretty garbage. But that one has that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to use this because we're going to be using... Um, I think that actually makes me immune to all the magic, most magic of the game, that combination. Jonathan Jones, alright. 
Uh, this is kind of annoying. Because if we kill... It will be fine, because we have such high attack now. Or, such high defense now. Go Geno Whirl. I don't really want to use the Star Egg. Uh... Because it could kill all the guys. I don't really want to. I mean, if it does, it does. It's fine. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. Yeah, because then he does this. Oh, they must have reprogrammed. So normally, when you kill all the guys, Johnny will challenge Mario or whoever's in that first slot to a one-on-one -on -one duel. But I think probably because it's too hard with two characters only, they probably made adjustments to uh, that he won't do that if you only have two characters at that point. Bunt is like that too. If you only have one character when you fight Bunt the cake, it won't regenerate candles every turn. It will do it every two turns, I believe. Which still sucks because Bunt sucks. It's literally my least favorite boss in the whole game, but there we go. That's fine. We had a castle key too. Star? Star? Yeah, star. Cool. Okay, we're going to look at. Let's go straight to forest. Get our third character. Um Mark Gino. A lot of checks here. Uh, three guaranteed flowers here, um, which is super nice. Yeah, I'm pretty confident right now because Peach is essentially unkillable. Um, we can clear out most hordes of enemies with the Star Egg. And Peach isn't completely, like, Worthless and slow. Um, so we can kind of make adjustments as needed. Kind of wish Gino had a little bit more oomph to him, but. Her? They? I don't know. Gino's a doll. I'm pretty sure their gender doesn't really matter. But. Well, I guess if it was a girl, it would be called Gina. You know what I'm saying? I never really thought about that. Um, but like I said, they're a wooden doll that has been a... Uh... So all the cutscenes are cut out, obviously, because if you're playing a randomizer, odds are you know what the story of Super Mario is. Um, but uh, yeah, if you don't know what the plot of this story is, um, Mario... So Toadstool gets uh, kidnapped by Bowser because plot... Uh, Mario goes to you know, fight Bowser to get Peach back, he defeats Bowser, and as he defeats Bowser, a giant sword from space, it's unclear, but space, we're gonna say space, um, 
falls from the sky and transfixed itself firmly in Bowser's castle. And the person behind this alien invasion, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Big guy named Smithy. He forges weapons, which is why all of the enemies we fight in the game look like weapons or are modeled after weapons. And he wants to dominate the world, and we have to stop him. Okay, well. Mega Glove makes him slow. We'll do this. Yeah, because have you start right And you can't. You can use the amulet. You know what? You're going to get the amulet because you're stronger. This is the meritocracy here. Alright. Wow. Mallow has a lot of hit points. Good block. And yes, I just congratulated myself. Wow, what level is Mallow at? Holy cats. He has 113 hit points at the first check. That's unbelievable. I have no idea how that happened. I'm not going to complain about it, but that's pretty crazy. Also, this is more of a... This is an example where, like, Jinx 3 is a very annoying enemy to find. Um, but because we are in a pretty magic-heavy spot, it's really not, like, the end of the world. So, if you're keen on the game, you'll notice I skipped Kiro Sewers, and that's because we go to Kiro Sewers to the back end of Land's End, because there's a key item check there. Yep. So, we wait to do that in a little bit. I kind of want to go back, because I feel like... Mallow can use the coin trick, and that gets us a lot of money early. I kind of want a lot of money early. We're going to check Rose Town. Just double check. Get this free check. If you don't know, that's an easy check to grab. So I don't really have good armor. The Lazy Shell works. I think it works for Mallow. We had Red Essence here, too. Um, Bowser and Toadstool. Mallow, can it boost defense? But really no no good yeah, defensive items. So we have actually a really good start. We have pretty powerful characters. Um we can find something to help boost our money a little bit. Mario can use it, but not anybody else. You know what? I'm just going to bite the 43 coins. I might regret it later on. But, uh, just so when we find Mario, we can just put that on. Um, everything else just sucks. You know what? I want the money. I was actually going to go try to give it to him, because, you know, if he gives you something worth more than 120 coins, uh, you know, give the wallet back, but we're immoral. Um, we're more of a chaos neutral, probably. Just straight chaos. Do Todovsky. Only took me 27 years of my life to memorize these. Well, most of these. The last one I never do, because I never go to temple. Which, if you saw our last episode, um, it's usually not a good thing. Big blue flag. Alright. Good worse. This lets us turn in cricket, uh, cricket jam. Just gives us frog coins, but then we can check the frog shops. 
and probably won't buy anything because most of the time frog coins are worthless in these runs. Don't at me. Alright, honey syrup. We're gonna buy two just so we don't have to come back later. I just want to see what they sell for. Right, so this works for Gino. Um, that's garbage. That's also garbage. Just gonna sell that. Okay, that's not bad for Gino at all. Actually, let's put that on. And coin trade. Alright. Yeah, nothing changed there. Don't know why I looked. Just wasting time. God dang it, flower box is here. Uh, well, I spoke too soon. We might just buy that, honestly. Um, we have to come back after... And the lazy shell is here? Oh boy, alright. Um, we don't know where Super Suit is yet. Luckily it's not here. Honestly, Mega Glove might be more valuable than the lazy shell is. Especially because Bowser can use it. And Bowser's usually our powerhouse. Go straight to Moleville. We don't have Bambino Bomb yet, so this check is a little risky, but we get... To... We check a shop here, because our characters are super slow. Goodie bag. Alright, well, I feel very dumb saying that frog coins suck, because today <clears throat> I won a lot of frog coins. The Lazy Shell we can find somewhere else, but the odds of us getting another Mega Glove are pretty low. And because more than one character can use it, it's just going to be one of those. Um, we're gonna see if this kills. Let's see, we check Boyer. Little diagonal checks there. We'll just, from now on, because I know he's faster, we'll just uh, do that. So we killed Box Boy. And then we killed... Oh, Jonathan Jones. Alright, I do have a mark. We're gonna take plus nine. I still can't believe Mal has all those hit points. Work pants. I'll right, just do this. A little faster. I need to change Mallow's armor too before I forget. Nothing great so far. Um, A little bit of magic. He has Geno Whirl, which is something we like. Alright, Parasol. Uh, those are better. Um, so, Fire Resistance. Four. Ah, oh, we already got fire. All right, cool. Never mind. Uh, we're gonna bite them because Peach should be stay be able to stay alive. This is super risky though. We're gonna take out Domino first.
There's only 750 hit points here between the, technically all three characters. We kind of don't want... It's not really a magic heavy area. So I'm tempted to just kill Cloaker. But he's not weak either. We're gonna kill Domino. I wanna take a risk. Calculate a risk. What a risk. Yeah, because like Gino there has magic defense. We just put like plus 30, plus 40 on it. So still took 11 damage. I mean, it's better than like 110 damage. But Carney Kiss here can be a real pain. Poison too. Uh, don't love that. I could super jump. Can do 100 plus 100 damage? No. Do not. Um, I'm just gonna star egg here. It loses half damage because <clears throat> it's fear. Pretty sure it's called fear. There's Mute, Fear, Poison, Sleep, Mushroom, and... Ooh. Well, we have Group Hug, but I want to do damage. We're gonna try Super Jumping. jumps that was, but it's more than I normally do, let me tell ya. It's like one more attack. Unless he does that. There we go. See, so right there, like, that's an example of an opponent that we want to see early, because he is a pain to fight later on, especially depending on where you find him. Elder Key and a star. Cool. Well, Elder Key is always great to find. Oh, I didn't do Castle, too. And we turned it into Cricket Jam. So, no Bambino Bomb means, you know, we dipped here. It was kind of productive, but now it's time to go home. Early star, though. Because the Bambino Bomb can be literally anywhere, so it's good to get Early Star. Keeps us from having to search for it later. We're going to look at Mary more. Um, this could be Mario. Mario could probably replace Gino right now. Bowser could too. Plus 80 and it's boosted. Alright, well that's super helpful. How much was that? 534. Wow. Alright. It's pretty good. Put on Told Stool. Um, Jinx Belt's alright. I mean, we get double resistance. Quartz Charm. Okay, well, we just want Quartz Charms. Um, I'm tempted to just buy that. There's not really a world where that isn't going to be useful for us. We're never going to use that. We're not going to use that. Eh, we'll keep it on. Uh, probably never going to use this either. Uh, so that's plus 36. That's boosted 38, though. We'll just save it. I'm a little bit of a hoarder. It's kind of a problem, but 
We're gonna see who the boss is here. If it's like a physical attacker, we'll just go take him out. I was probably by the court term. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We can kill these guys. I already saw what level Mallow is. Oh, it's level 11. Alright, well that's... that's why. Slightly better. Makes us a little faster, though. Well, let's see here. Can you use... What do I think you could use the ghost metal? Alright, never mind. Cool. Peach has the laser shell on, which is essentially what Peach does in the... I mean, if you want to be in one of the easier strats for the speedrun, you just put the lazy show on Peach and uh, just never die. And that's how you beat the game, if you're not good enough to do it other ways. Bowser here is nice, though. Level 11, that's hilarious. I don't think I've ever seen a level that high. Here, sniff it. Calamari there is kind of annoying, but... Not under leveled per se, but we're definitely not supposed to be here this early. So they have both Karo sewer checks. Um, we're doing the bunt check right now. Expected. I'm just gonna do this. Honestly, he could probably attack, but I don't want to. Yeah. Mallow's great, which is not something I say very often. Sit me bomb, that is nice. go buy another Mega Glove too, which is really nice. And Quartz Charm should work on Bowser. So with Quartz Charm Mega and uh, Mega Glove, and then some kind of... Uh, let's see who the Seaside Town boss is. Alright. Uh, check the shop. Sucks. Cool. Now we really want money, which means we really want the coin trick Mario. So we're going to go to C, and then we'll go to boost. Uh, actually, we'll probably do Kiro Super Check, honestly. Troopa Shell? Right, that's not bad. It's 
better than what he has on now. Those aren't great. He just made a glove, but that's about it. No, we're just gonna get our free XP here. Oh, I could have checked if uh, Bowser can use the ghost metal. You know, so don't pick me up, so come back is super helpful. Yeah, he already has plus 70 or 70 attack, which is already more than Mallow. I think he's probably just a better Mallow, but Mallow has group hug, so Red Essence is super nice. Koopa Pen to be good. Yeah, it's not. Can use the ghost metal. Alright, well, that helps. See, that can go on Mallow. do Kara Kara sewers and then after the sewers because we'll have a key item we'll just go straight to uh get this key item then we'll go to Kara Kara sewers and then we'll just go straight to uh um we'll buy the mega glove for uh Mario or somebody Bambina bomb. Alright, well we don't have to look for that, thank god. It's not behind Boomer, which is nice. So we just go here and get the Kara Sewers check. Hopefully there's like a room key here, or like Castle Key 1. Or even Griefer Flag, honestly, because then we could get that check. Honestly, like, bring me the frog points, man. Kill them for XP, but not that kill. Now I want to fly forward. Please do it this time. Thank you. Tad impatient at this point. 
I see a good run in front of us. This is even before Super Suit. And I'd like to take advantage of it. You know what? I'm not gonna save. Have faith in my gameplay. Or not. Free XP though. Go this way, hoppity hop. God dang it. That's what you want, that's what I said. Cool, now we can save. Sleepy bomb for this. But we'll save the sleepy bomb for later because we don't need it. That's a great example of a. Uh, Early bot or uh, hard boss you want to see early. Let me stick the last enemy in the game. Wow, it's seventy uh, magic attack. Even been listening to boss music, so you have to be careful. Um, I've been putting, you know, since I've been putting these bots up on YouTube, uh, because the boss music is randomized, you can get there's the Culex theme, which it's a Final Fantasy theme, and it will get copyright striked. I haven't really heard it yet, but. See which Jinx that was. I should have paid attention. We're gonna say it was Jinx two. It's probably Jinx one. Oh yeah, never mind. I want to do this for points. God knows we need it. And after this, we can go get Mario, and then we can put Coin Trick on. Which means he has to be in the party, but like, oh well. Not great movement, but I do not care. I can go buy Mega Glove now. Watch to be like a great item in Nimbus Land. Nimbus Land and Shed are the only two places we haven't checked yet, but. Oh, 
Give me like a handgun. That's yeah, alright. Cool. Gino, if you didn't have Gino World, you'd be pretty replaceable too right now. And Super Jump, I guess. Please get some health. 55 health is not enough health. That's a little bit of money. Alright. Clawing our way back. Shouldn't be that bad of a fight, but I want to be sure. We're just gonna star egg. Screw it. Luckily, okay, the health is all mixed up here. It has 1200 hit points. If I get, had to guess, I'd say it's 800, 400, 400. Uh, I want the clocks. Dead. Once again? Alright, cool. Alright, well this just might be the end of it then. Cool. Well, that's another good enemy you want down early. We actually have pretty good pace. We got full clear booster tower coming up next. We can honestly probably strong enough to go do C. Um, I don't think we're gonna find 20 more frog coins to uh, get another mega glove. But depending on who's stronger, Mallow or well, Mallow has good pug though. All right, now you guys can watch me do this. Bad minecart. Actually, really happy about this run. there too, but whatever. Still decent time here. I missed that jump. Not the best, but
Ooh. Sound is cutting out right now. Frames are fine, but sound is cutting out. That's weird. Come on, dude. Still breaking. All right. All right. Well, we have a bunch of mushrooms at the beginning. Be a little. I'd say like two eleven. Ah, two thirteen. All right. Well, that's my. Not a great time uh, minecart run, but we're starting just like keeping track of all my minecart runs from now on. I'm gonna go to Mario more real quick. We're gonna buy the XP booster, put on Mario, and then we're gonna probably switch him in. I don't think I want to use that. I have two of those. Oh, I don't want to buy. Oh yeah, you can't use the port charm. So have the room key here. Didn't update the Bambino bomb, but I could have went and did Todovsky, and I kind of am a little bit regretting that I didn't, just in case I had the room key. We still don't have a super suit. And a good super suit would kind of blow the seat out of the water. Even if it's like a lazy shell super suit where it kind of takes away some attack but gives you high magic defense and regular defense, that would be great for Bowser. Save here. Check Elder Key. Super suit. Alright, another lazy shell. Weapon or armor? Weapon. So you can use that. Your stats are really bad. I mean, that's not terrible for you. But you can't use the laser shell. I feel like this works on Mario. It does. That'd make him survive quite a bit more, but it's not worth it right now. I can't improve your attack at all, right? Yeah, it's fine. Comes with territory. We want room key here. Reaper flight works. Get that. Um, honestly, we could probably. We'll do this. I. 
we might be able to beat the monster town checks. Oh my god. If I can learn how to jump, play the game. Room key, please. Perfect. Jinx spell. I'm pretty sure Mallow can use that. It's not amazing, but if I remember right, but it does work. There's always the attack scarf, too, we can buy from the original shop. We're gonna play a minigame. Um, yeah, makes you fast. A lot of immunities. Hard to complain. Oh, yeah, one key done. I think we can replace Gino with Mario. And he can use the coin trick for this next battle, because it's like 200 coins. Because he can just use a star egg, since he's effectively worthless. So we have the shed, uh, sh shed shop, which we don't know where that key is, or where that key item is. We have the shed key shop, we have the Nimbus shop, and then obviously we have the, uh, volcano shops and the, um, the Bowser Keep shops, but the volcano and Bowser Keep shops are at a different time in our life. Those are not good. No, they're not. Alright. You can't put on the quartz charm. So you are going to put on the coin trick. A royal dress. I'm going to switch you in. Gold Chino. Because I want you to get me money. I mean, it could be worse. Let's do this. Can we kill one? No, you cannot. Only we have more frog coins. I th never thought I would say that out loud, but unfortunately, that seems to be the case. I forgot it does that. I apparently don't know that timing at all either. And it fears you? Oh yeah. Whatever. Pretty sure Calamari gets to attack now. Nope, not today. Let's do this. Not confident in my spike linked abilities apparently. 
pretty easy fight all said and done, but... Sixty coins right there. I can switch Gino back in later. Could have bought another XP booster for Peach, but we have a group hub. We have a comeback, and we have a place to buy pick me ups. Um, granted, it's temporary, so I might load up on them. But I'm just gonna go right into this fight. Oh, I could have put the XP booster on Peach right now, because it's off Mario. Come on, Mario. So hopefully we're fine. All right, fear. It could be worse. I still don't know what pedal blast is though, and that's kind of the one I'm really worried about. We have able juice. We do not. Probably should have healed Bowser first, but too little, too late. This could be really bad. That's why we safe. Fear is fine, so we just do this. you have. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty bad. Yeah. Fight's over with. Mega Smile Axe is always one of the worst bosses to fight, so... Say we fought Jinx too. Was it worth it for 25 coins? I like to think so. I want to attack. And a star. Alright. We have a really good pace right now. for bright card because we don't have it. Then we'll go to Land's End, and then we'll do, uh, well depending on who's there, I guess we can check who's there. And then we'll see, uh, do Land's End, then ship. Then, uh, yeah. Let's 
Ooh, you almost got me. There's shit key. And actually, that's really helpful. How much money are we at? 399. Tempted to do Star Hill right now. It's a little bit risky. Because the odds of anything being there are you know, pretty low with how many checks we have left. But it's like. Nah, I should have went up one more and came back. Want to buy another XP booster? That's the plus 80 for Mario, which he desperately needs, but we don't know if we need Mario yet. We might just live without him. Screw it, we're gonna do it. I want the cash. The greedy boy. Let's see if this kills. If Bowser's faster though, we'll just go straight to Bowser. Does not kill, and he's not faster. All right, well, that was a waste. <sighs> um, there should be fast enough now. It shouldn't have more than 150. Uh oh, this would be great. Mallow has a lot of uh, magic attack too. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Yeah, there's 300 coins right there. Fifty or three hundred coins. That in and of itself is almost worth the entire trip. If we do that one or two more times, like even this should be fifty coins or a hundred coins. It's like twenty-four a piece. We're wasting time, and I know I have a good run, but I really want to be able to afford the stuff we need to afford. Another 120 coins. Don't chase them too much. Yeah, so 420. This will be like another 50. Let's, that lets us buy the thing for Mario, or another Quartz Charm. This will be the last one we do. Of course it's a bad one. Oh well. Yeah, we lose a little bit of time here, but just having that extra um, safety, especially if there's a super suit somewhere, and it's like expensive, um, because we do have Shed coming up, which we will do next.
just want to be able to have enough to buy it. And it's like, it doesn't have to be a waste, right? Like, it's a check. A bad check, but... One more guy. Yeah, we'll just avoid him. It's Boomer, right? Yeah. Oh, there's Punch Glove. Alright. I could put this on Mallow, and then move the other thing to Mario. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, that's in there. I know where Red Essences are. Sleepy Bombs, we have one already. Um, I could probably buy another one. Yeah, just not that great. We'll check. We won't be having enough to buy anything from the Frog Shop, probably. Because we spent it all already. Got it, got it, got it. Um, do I just say fuck it and fight Boomer right now? This is the guy who had pick me up, right? No, I think he just had the moldy mush. He wasn't helpful at all. Yeah, the rotten mush. We're gonna go to the Land's End, turn in the Griefer flag, and then beat those guys. Stack. That's fine. Because these guys have really high attack. He won't be able to do anything. He'll just uh, probably just star egg. But this is two checks. And he... Alright, well, good first enemy. There's a sleepy bomb we didn't have to buy. Punchinello. Eh, that's pretty annoying. Bombs count as physical damage, I'm pretty sure. Xor. 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 Booster. I mean, that's fine. That was not great at all. 
This should kill. Then Bowser might be able to kill Booster in one hit. Rump. Yeah, even with the boosted defense. There we go. All this experience for Malo er, and uh, Mario and Old School. It's nice. Big magic. Zardragon. Zardragon. Valentina. Exor. Oh, god damn it. This guy's like completely physical. So is the fight. Doing that, so. Probably need to... So we have a shed key and we used it. has 800 hit points, give or take. Nothing he can really do to us, but... Ouch, you're hurting me. You might die. Should win after this turn, ideally. If I don't mess up the timing on Mario or on Bowser, if I do though, we're done. Or we're not done. Just we'll have to do another turn. And bird. There you go. Nope. Yep. There you go. All right, Punchinello. We still have a lot of checks left, which I don't feel like we're going that slow, but this has been a lot of backtracking. We have all of the ocean checks. I'm just gonna do this for this guy. I don't. Be 400 to turn just with Star Egg. Oh, I just remembered that Lazy Shell is on Mallow, so even though he has a pretty high magic attack, he has like negative 30 magic. That's why his magic sucks so much. I wasn't even thinking about that. Attention to those timings. So, a lot of the magic heavy spots are still open to the magic heavy bad guys, which I don't love, but. Because we have Yard somewhere, we have Valentina somewhere, we have Zar, we have Axum, we do have Gina Whirl. So it's like we have all of the clerk, like clerk manager and stuff. So these are the most physical spots in the game. So we'd ideally like to see them here. Unless we get completely screwed on RNG, we're gonna have a better time than I did yesterday. But I don't. Unless there's a star here. And then we just rush, rush C. Or honestly, Nimbus Land. 
Come on. Yeah, I was gonna say I blocked that, but Malo's got so much hit points. So many, you can count the hit points. It's many, not much. Check there. We'll probably just rush Shed, because we don't have a bright egg, or a bright card, and then we'll go um, C, and then we'll do uh, Nimbus Land. Yeah. Kind of just hoping for a super suit here. And you get a lot of experience, so. Which we are in desperate need of. Because we are still pretty low level. Except for Mallow, apparently. Mallow's just a monster. Super suit? Attack scarf. Alright, well, that's just as good. Saves us 500 coins, too. Seaside Town, we go. Oh, I didn't even change. Alright. That'll be fine. Couple turns. Honestly, Toadstool almost has more attack than Mario does. Yeah, tenor card. Hate to see it. I just rush to see. Three checks here. Need two. Trooper Shell might be actually be good for Gino. Depends on who our first enemy is here. And you can use the attack scarf. Yeah. Yeah, you're a monster now. Cool. Figure out a way to Geno boost. We're gonna take the money here. I'm supposed to be going fast, but also hesitant. a super suit at first, I was gonna be very excited. This could be Culex, which would suck. This could be Bunt, which would suck. Two, three, four. One, two. One, two. One, two. Axum is another shitty choice.
Alright, well, that could have been way worse. Still a possibility. Get out of my way. I'll have a Sia. I'm worried that I'm gonna not get away. Also, like, there's a little bit of money here. That makes it the trip better. Alright, well, worth. Alright, Trooper Pen's worthless. I'm just gonna sell it next time I have the chance. Is super annoying. Hopefully, it dies here though. God damn it. Oh, vanilla hide on is vanilla. Still no bunt, which is scary. Or Culex. Culex here in this next spot isn't too bad. But bunt sucks here. Hey, your magic's so bad, Bowser. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess we get three coins. Just in case it's bunt. Sea ship has again let me down. Right, Two hundred coins. Just gonna skip that chest. It's gonna have the super suit in it. I know it, but it's fine. We live and let live here. We can let things go. We can we can leave ch uh, leave checks behind. Um, we rush through here and then go straight Nimbus Land because we still don't have Bright Egg. The only way we could boost Mallow. And it probably is, I just didn't check the uh the move pool or the the magic pools. Uh, we need like one we need like one here and then we just need one right away. The odds of that are pretty low. We have a lot of checks left. Do you need to go to Nimbus? Alright, this could be worse. Alright, Mute's not the worst thing. It's an easy boss. You're going to Sleepy Bomb. I didn't heal him. Gino, but it's fine. That should kill. I was gonna say once again.
Easy. You know where Sleepy Bomb is too, it's in uh Seaside. We have Gun Yoke down and Jonathan Jones down. Yeah. For one of the clerks, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Nope. It's a lot of experience though. Get even more hit points. More. I want more. Welcome to your ASMR stream. I don't have a grill in the house, but it's okay. Alright, we're just gonna hope Nimbus Land has a bright card in it. And we can check this shop. I don't like that you have to do this minigame to fight this boss. I wish you could just run over to him. Oh, you have the tenor card, by the way. Can we turn this in? But, like, I understand, like, why you have to, but... It's the same thing in Booster Tower. We could just fail, but... At least in Booster Tower, failing is a lot faster than here. Well, maybe not. You have to fail twice here, and booster you have to fail three times, so it probably works out the math about right. So, Gino Whirl on Gino. Which is nice. Alright, well, that was very much not worth it. Zar Dragon's fine. This is a physical area. It's actually really good. I don't want to see Zar Dragon. Besides Culex, Valentine is the next big bad I don't want to deal with. Culex at Birdo would not be that bad, though. So that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, where are you gonna star egg? Where you at? 150 instead of 38. If this has a star, and Birdo has the star, and Birdo has the bright card, we can theoretically get a little over sub 2. Bowser though. Just because Bowser has garbage armor. I go check Temple, but I don't even have the Temple key, so it's like not worth it to go over there. Alright, well. No sub 2 today. Um, still a pretty decent run if we find this relatively quickly. Faith in that necessarily. Can we ever look at what the froggy stick was? Oh, we got one, but let me check this. No. Alright, well, I think we. Hammer's definitely worthless. Um, I'll check the froggy stick just because I don't think I did. Nope. I, I need to do the purging my boost. Not good.
dude. Watch the item on Birdo be Rare Frog Coin into Cricket Pie. Just kill them, please. They both could be in Bean Valley. Bean Valley could have been our sub two, but we don't have a bright card though, so. Watch bright card be behind. Yeah. Get out of my way! Get those health points up, bud. Well, plus four or something. God damn it, dude. Gonna try to run away. It's not Geno. It's like Mallow. Mallow has so much defense. Do I seriously have to... Star Egg. Uh, I could've just did that from the beginning. I had faith in you, Bowser. God damn it, dude. Yeah, luckily we have pick-me-ups. Well, wait, you're also gonna start egg, fuck it. Just in case I mess up Gino World for some god-awful reason. Ugh. This might actually kill. It won't kill. The top eye has more hit points than that, but... I don't have to deal with counters. There we go. Love that glitch. Yeah, let's just say you're never gonna use Ultra, but you have 28 special or magic attack. You can get more hit points, Mallow, I didn't mean to do that. There's the bright card. Alright, well. Come on. Still no star. In temple. It's supposed to be Panda, right? Which kind of sucks as a check. 
Um, it was 300 hit, you know, 3,000 hit points. This spot, but it is what it is. Got my way. Move it or lose it. Uh, yeah, because we've beat Box Boy and High Down, so just has to be Panderite. Which is like whatever. Scream is mute, I think. Oh, it is fear. Can I get an able juice? Alright, well Pandorite dies, so fairly painlessly. So no Valentina, but oh, level twenty. Oh, how times have changed. God dang it, dude. Definitely need to figure out how to get the spoiler log. Um, make like service isn't terrible. We're gonna go Bean Valley, and then we're just gonna go to uh, um, then we're just gonna go to Temple because I'm sick of getting screwed over by Temple. Third show is terrible. We saw it earlier. I think in the third shop. Please don't be Culex. Please don't be Culex. Please don't be Culex. Magic Cube is literally just as bad. I'm gonna fight him first. Use those. So So nice, we find it twice. Um, cool. So much for all those coins we gathered. Up here's Valentina. I mean, Mal is fine. Mal has such high defense. This does, this has a actually a really high physical attack spot, but luckily he has like no health, so that could be bad. Nope. Never punished. Yep, perfect. Uh, this is Box Boy. 
Star here. Star make a smile axe. Like Magic Koopa sucks there, but Probably could put Mario in, honestly, he got some more coins. Just to buy like red essences and stuff for the final fight. Like the option. It's better safe than sorry when you're dealing with Smithy. Which one are you gonna do? If you go here, I'm gonna fight it then. Don't echo finder me. See this? Alright, Magic Koopa is gonna be a pain, but it's gonna be beatable. We beat Star Dragon. Forgot. And we beat Xor. Luckily, low physical defense here. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. Literally, I was gonna kill him one more turn, but like, he's always gonna summon somebody here. Bahamut is who we don't want to see. We can handle the bomb. Yeah, I'll use Bahamut. Probably going to take two turns to kill him, too. Oh, come on. Can't have that many hit points left. At least I blocked it all. I was like, I apparently can't do math at all. Ugh. Come on, no star? Seriously? Okay, I was gonna say. So math says go to probably Volcano based on time, but my head says go to Temple. But we're gonna listen to math. You know, Culex could be there, and we're not gonna. Not that we couldn't probably win that fight, but it would not. I'm gonna try to get away. I get away, Taikyo. No. 
not dealing with those guys. Yeah, we're gonna go to Volcano. Technically, Bowser's Castle is also a really good choice. Um, because the worst spot... I mean, Culex is still out there. So is Bunt. Both are fights I hate. I could check for a Super Suit, but... We have to fight two people here anyways. Um, we only need one. So maybe Bowser's Castle would have been the better choice. Because even if things go perfect here, we still have to win the other fight or run all the way back out, which is just super annoying to do. Um, I think it's like personal preference. I like these fights more. Bowser, you have two shops, so... I mean, probably should have just went Bowser. But, it's too late now. We're going into it. We'll make sure Peach and Mario are as strong as possible. God damn it. It's at the temple again. I'm I'm gonna lose it. Well, we have a lot of stuff to get money from, I guess. Red essences are in uh, Rose Town, so. Easy, easy, easy. God dang it, dude. It's funny, I had it. Got that skipped on at least. It's two days in a row I've gotten that. Uh, I don't know what the shirt is, but I know the courage show is bad, so I can do that. I unload a lot of that stuff right now. Super suit, please have just super, have a super suit, dude. All right, I mean both character. Well, I guess I am using Wallow. Just gonna buy two of them. Screw it. I 
You're gone, Mallow. So you can use the laser. You can use the super suit. But you don't have, like, any weapons. Which is really frustrating. You can also use the Quartz Charm. Bowser, because you get shafted in terms of armor. Maybe Bowser gets replaced. Even with that, it's 191. You're just so low. I mean, yeah, you're a god, Mallow. Actually, is there something good for Bowser here? No. There's not. Alright, well. What a nice idea. <sighs> well, we finally found our super suit. And we have money. So. And it was expensive, so. Yard of it cheer is kind of annoying. Mal is not even boosted. I need to see which character has Geno boost after this. It might very well be, uh, Did I not heal Bowser? power blast anywhere either. We also had like items we could have sold, not weapons. There might have been good armor there. For all I knew. I wasn't really paying attention. frames. Handle it. Yeah. Alright, so no Culex. Culex is up here. We're gonna have, probably have a problem. Because no matter how strong we are, I still think we might lose. I need to find Geno Ghost real quick. Somebody's gotta have it. Oh, there's a star. We'll see who it is, and if it's bad, we'll just leave. We'll run out the other way. I'm not dealing with this. Nope. 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 One. God damn it. It's Mario. Uh. Do we have Yoshi Aids? We don't, do we? No, we have Yoshi Cookies, not Yoshi Aids. I think he had them, though.
you know, there's only going to be like two fights. So we have three. We do maybe one on this fight. We could just run out. I have to go back past the stump it though. This could be an easy fight for all I know. This could be like Croco. It's like Croco 1 or like Mac or something. Yeah, you still don't have... I need to switch you guys back before we go up there. Holy, almost did that without paying attention. Gina's still like multiple levels behind everybody else. I don't know why Yoshi are so expensive, but I mean, Power Blast apply to the whole group, and they're usually... Alright, we'll just fight them. Running back out backwards might be faster, but... That's only two. Oh, there's Sleepy Bomb. We should have, yeah, we do. Pretty sure we do. Gino. You Yoshi ate him. Freebie. Thousand hit points or eight hundred hit points. All right, quick stop at Rose Town. Oh, it's a long ways. It's fine. I go quickly, you know, maybe like, uh, son of a bitch, dude. Nope, not this way. Six is fine. Let's go. Well, it better be fine, because we're going. I'm gonna save here. I'll go up. No. <laughs> Waste of time. Should negotiate him right now.
We'll do this. So Yoshi and Mallow. Bowser has a lot of hit points left still. Um, you mid mushroom him. Bowser might die here. How many Karakarapel is left? I'm gonna have that. Perfect. And a freebie. Well, there should be a couple more hits. This could be worse. Kinda sucks that my strongest character is also the one that has group hug, but it is what it is. a lot faster, but...
That's annoying. Oh, there's in Shredder again. Alright, well, that's the fastest run yet. Um, got lucky there at the end, for sure. Really love doing these. Been having a really good time. Um, even if RNG comes to bite me in the butt a lot. Like, uh, you know, like right there, we didn't have to go to Bowser's Keep, and that really, you know, helped out. Or Temple, my god. I hate going to Temple. But, you know, uh, normally I, uh, play out the whole um the whole end sequence i uh i think maybe moving forward if i get a spoiler log i can maybe kind of go through spoiler log if you want to stick around for that just to kind of you know so there's like a true end time because i know that like for speed running the time ends once you um you know hit the d so uh, i usually keep it on but it's like i don't know like an eight minute you know end credit scene so uh if we can um i don't expect you guys to stick around for that and it's a lot of space of time for me to fill with nothing no action going on nothing going on so i think i'm just going to uh probably let it go from here again you know my name is t diamond um been kind of around a little bit used to go by a different name uh used to stream like a lot of destiny 2 stuff and now i'm getting back into like smrpg and kind of like some of the snes classics because honestly, that's like where my heart really lies. These are the games I learned how to play when I was a little kid. My grandpa was the one who taught me how to play this game for the first time. It was the first game I ever learned how to play. And uh, I made a promise to him a while ago that like I wanted to, um, if I ever like you know, started playing games and putting content, I would do that kind of for him and with that memory in mind. So, you know, if you came by the channel, I really appreciate you. If you came across this from some other way, you know, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, still learning how to do a lot of stuff, still trying to get better. I know the quality needs to be upgraded, and there's things in the works to fix that. But if there's any other critiques or ideas or um, really any comments at all, you know where to leave them. I'm going to be adding a lot more description coming soon about kind of the SMRPG community in general. Uh, it's not a community I'm very active in, but it's a community I'm very aware of um, between their Discord and there's a lot of great um, community members, you know, Kid Zero One, uh, Elenium, uh, Millennium. I names might might not get correct, but these are people that I've seen not only in, like the overall speedrunning community, but also in like the SMR RPG randomizer community, whether they're devs or just like content creators. And you know, all this stuff is free, and we're able to like contribute and play these games, and we don't have to have that big financial burden to you know have that uh those memories and this experience so very grateful for them very grateful for you and you know if you want to help out the channel you know what to do i'm not going to belabor the point but it's not necessary it's always appreciated so look for content coming soon still didn't get a sub two um at this pace we're not going to get one for a little bit but i guess that uh that miss means more smrpg for me and by extension uh you so Hopefully that's enjoyable, and hopefully you have a good time. So, like I said, uh, my name's T-Diamond, and I'm signing out. Have a great day. Bye.